Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am here with a product review video. It's been a long time and I can't wait to just jump right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is this perfume from Dossier. Thank you Dossier for sending this to me to test out and put into one of my product review videos. So Dossier is a perfume company and when you open the box it says iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. And this is the little card insert that came with it and when they asked me if I wanted to try it out and talk about it in one of my videos, they sent me a list of all of their scents and it was like 20 or 30 and I picked Floral Jasmine because my favorite flower is Jasmine simply because of the fragrance. And this card describes the top notes, middle notes, and base notes. And the top notes are Neroli, Cardamom, Bergamot, and Pepper. Middle notes, Jasmine, Sambac, Ylang Ylang, and Broom Flower. And base notes, Labdanum, Clary Sage, and Vanilla. I can't say I I knew what more than half of those were and it says it's inspired by Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge Eau de Parfum Parfum uh, concentration 18% I don't know what that means and then it says thank you our mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price giving you the freedom to explore new scents thank you for giving us a try how it works this is what's really cool any scent you order comes with a sample that you can test before opening the full size 50 milliliter bottle don't like the sample? Just return the package with a 50 milliliter bottle and you will get a full refund. Returns are free, no questions asked. So I really think that that is a brilliant idea for, you know, making it feel like it's a risk-free purchase. So this is the little sampler that comes with it that you can try to see if you want to return it. This obviously I'm not gonna return it, it was sent to me. And then here is the bottle. Let's talk a little bit about the packaging. So this is very simple packaging, you know, it's no markup, so it's not nothing too terribly fancy, but it is nice, it feels high quality. This is one of those magnetized caps, which is always nice, but of note, that makes this not recyclable. So when you're done with this, you'd have to throw this part away and then recycle the bottle. So my first impression of this, to be honest, was that it was quite strong if you just smell it oh it's quite strong so it's a really good thing that they do include that sampler size it smells it's kind of reminds me of like perfume from the 80s where it was just quite strong off the bat that when you sprayed it and you wore it for a few minutes and kind of let it diffuse it smelled much more subtle and pleasant so i was a little worried but i went outside i sprayed it for the first time and i just gave it a light spray you don't need much at all and then just shortly thereafter i smelled jasmine it just smelled like jasmine so i sprayed it just now and actually it's a little too much especially i'm sitting in a room where there's no ventilation right now so it was a little too much but if you spray it in a ventilated area and a light spray it can smell really really lovely so i do think that they do a great job and of course that ability to purchase it where where it's like risk-free is awesome good job drop dossier and thank you so much for sending it to me okay so i am gonna dive into the rest of the product reviews and as per usual i have no really theme i'm just gonna talk about products and the first products i really do want to talk about are custom covergirl products i realize i don't talk about makeup too often so let's give a little shout out to covergirl ever since they rebranded a few years ago and they went clean and cruelty free i have just really been into them and i think that it is awesome that they did that and i wish that other drugstore brands would follow in their footsteps so the first thing i'm going to talk about is the covergirl easy breezy brow gel this is it I used it in my eyebrows before I started filming, which I thought I was going to do a subtle look, and I ended up doing a full face of makeup. I just got a little carried away. So this is awesome. It is like $6, I think, and this is pretty much toast. I've used it up. I really, really like it. I also really like the e.l.f. Wow Brow. That one is like a little more subtle if you want something that doesn't deliver quite as much product onto your brow when you swipe. I would recommend going with that. They're both awesome. I like them both for different reasons, obviously if you're looking for a more subtle look go with something like the elf wow brow but if you want something that is a little bit darker then you could go with this this is in the shade medium yeah just medium so I like this a lot and then I recently also discovered the covergirl true naked cream shadow stick in the shade this is the shade queen ship they don't have a whole lot of shades I kind of wished they had a lot more I already swatched it but I'm gonna swatch it again 
I started filming and then I dropped something and woke up my son. So that didn't go so well. But anyway, so that's it. It goes on really, really evenly, really smoothly, really creamy. This is a nice shimmery bronze color. I'm wearing it right now just kind of right above where the eyeliner is on my eyes. Good stuff, also really affordable. I ordered both of those on Ulta at some point. Now I wanna talk about the Marc Jacobs mascara. This is a really highly rated mascara and I will say it's nice. Okay, let's just describe it. So this is the spoolie. It is one of those kind of hourglass shaped spoolies. It delivers a good amount of product onto your eyelashes and I feel like it is definitely more volumizing than lengthening and I'm wearing it on my eyelashes right now so I thought I would talk about it and I think that gosh that essence mascara it just wins it just continues to win no matter what mascara I try I've tried several and this just continues to win this is lengthening volumizing I feel at the same time and it doesn't clump it you can separate your lashes it lasts well it doesn't flake it's just great it's cruelty free and it's like $4.99 Ah, oh, this is so good, and I'm sure you've seen it already if you watch YouTube at all. So it still doesn't win in comparison to the Essence, and this is like, I don't know what, a $30 mascara. <laughs> I did not pay that for it. So as far as how I feel like it performs, like I said, it's just volumizing. I don't feel like I get a whole lot of length out of it. I get some, and it does, it's, it's a very nice mascara. It's really nice. I feel like my lashes do look really good right now. Just like I said, this Essence one just tends to blow things out of the water. And I feel like it takes a little while to dry, which is fine. It does dry and it doesn't flake and you can layer it. So I do like that about it as well, but this just beats it. So go ahead and save yourself some money and go with the Essence one. I'm gonna talk about a couple of detangling sprays. So I got this Design Me times Lisa Walker uh, Detangle Me, Design Me, Detangle Me. I don't know who you are, Lisa Walker, I'm sorry. And I don't love it. There's something about the smell. I gotta say, I'm still a little overwhelmed by the dossier perfume smell. It is a little strong right now. It, it, I need a fan on right now and I'm in a non-ventilated room so the perfume is a little bit strong but I don't love the smell. It's a fine smell. There's kind of a hint of something that I just don't love and I can't put my finger on it. It smells like a, full, a salon fresh smell but I don't love the smell. It doesn't get my tangles nearly as well and I so I got my quarantine hair cut, but my hair had gone down to my belly button in quarantine. I wasn't getting it cut. I used to cut my own hair. I don't know why. I just didn't cut it. I really just wanted to go to a salon and get my hair cut. Anyway, so my hair was getting so tangled between washes by the time I'd wash it again and I needed a detangler. So I pulled this one out, the Prep Rally, and I had heard that this was a really, really well-loved product and I understand why. It really helped detangle. It has heat protectant in it which I had overlooked. I just put this away in my closet and I didn't even think about it until I was having this problem with tangly hair and it is a prime and prep detangler is all it is and it has a heat protectant. It smells salon fresh. This is a really really good product. I can see why people covet it and they go for it. So I finished this and then I thought I would try this because I've liked some other design me products that I've used but I tried this. It doesn't get the tangles out near as well as this one and it has something about the smell that I just don't love it's okay it's not a horrible smell but I just don't love it so definitely prep rally wins over the design we detangle me I wouldn't recommend this one okay can we just talk about this this is the this is from FabFitFun this is the Grace and Stella blackheads are no fun but removing them can be face mask it's one of those blackhead removing masks and you would think that it would be just like those ones that you see online where people put them on and then they have a hell of a time peeling them off and they look like they're in so much pain. I thought that's what I was getting and that's what I wanted and I was just gonna put it on my nose sometimes to try to get out those blackheads. And I put it on and it was so wimpy. It was, I, I barely felt anything. It was such a waste of time and money. Please, if you're a FabFitFun member, 
do not purchase this. I don't recommend this at all. I, I used it once and it's going in the donate bin. I'm thinking about doing a donate bin video if you're interested in seeing that and why I'm getting rid of those products. And even, you know what, maybe making a giveaway out of it because there could be some stuff in there that you love. So who knows? Let me know if that would be something you'd be into. Okay, the next thing I am going to talk about is the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. Good Molecules is awesome. Awesome. They make really high quality stuff for a very affordable price, I feel. This bottle is glass, they're cruelty free. This is a gel cleanser. It says, as I said, cleansing gel. And it is very gentle. It says a gentle cleanser to balance and brighten the skin. I found this great for my dry skin. It's made in Korea. Are they K-Beauty? I should find more out about these things before I go and review them. And distributed by Good Molecules in West Hollywood. Anyway, I really liked this. I thought this was great. It had virtually no fragrance and it did a really good job. I do recommend this, totally affordable. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is Le Prunier Plum Beauty Oil. This is empty. I finally finished it. I nursed it for a long time because it's not cheap. And a good friend of mine sent this to me after she learned how much I really loved the sample I had from a pediver box. And it was such a nice surprise. It was so sweet. Anyway, so this is, it smells divine. It smells like almonds and cherry. Uh, it's starting, I, I had to kind of speed through it because it is starting to turn a little bit so it doesn't smell like it used to so I sped through it to finish it up before any would go to waste. So it I took about two years. Definitely don't do that with your face oils. I just really love this stuff and wanted to nurse it. It goes on so nicely. It is not fast absorbing so it's definitely, it was for me a nighttime oil and I would use it under my moisturizer and I really really just enjoy this and I highly recommend it. I think the price point is something like $80 though Maybe even a little more. I'm not sure. Okay. Now the next thing totally reasonable price point super wet recommend This is the pixie glow tonic 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner now toner is one of those products that for me a lot of them don't have ingredients that are worth your while or your money, but this is a toner that does have a good ingredients and a good amount of glycolic acid. It really, I used it consistently and I really felt like I saw a difference in my skin and how glowy and youthful it looked. Youthful, I mean, I'm almost 40, but anyway, as youthful, youthful as it can be. Sometimes I look at my son and he's one, and his skin is just so supple. I'm like, I want some of your collagen, please. I super recommend, I think this is like $15 or 20, maybe 20 tops. And I, it, it's, look at the size of this thing. It's eight and a half fluid ounces, totally worth it. So worth it. I got that through FabFitFun and they, I haven't seen it in a sale since. So the next thing I want to talk about is this Fat Boy Styling Cream and it says weightless hold on it. I feel like the product in the packaging, it's very much geared toward men. And I think even like in the YouTube ad I saw for it, it was somebody using it on a man. But I'm a lady and I used it. And I have said countless times, if you've been following me, maybe you have curly hair too, and that's why you started following me. Styling creams work great in curly hair. They just do. They work really well. And this one, my first impression actually wasn't so great. I ended up really liking it, but my first impression was that it felt heavy. It feels heavy when you're putting it on, at least I thought so, but as your hair starts to dry, it really does ha I'm not wearing it in my hair right now. I'm wearing something else. Um, what am I wearing in my hair right now? The Living Proof TBD, throw, Tame Blowout Deconstruct. Love that stuff. Anyway, I didn't plan to talk about that product in this video, but that product has become a staple for me. I really like that and I've repurchased it. So back to this. So I, it felt heavy and then as my hair dried, yes, that's what I was saying, it felt lighter and lighter and it really didn't feel like there was any product in my hair. That's what's so great about a good styling cream is that you don't feel like there's any product in your hair if you put in the right amount and do it correctly. So this is really nice. I really do like it. It has, what does it smell like? I'm still smelling the perfume. It's quite strong. It has kind of 
well, I don't know what other description to use when it's like a salon fresh scent. Like it's not citrusy, it's not floral, it's not whatever else, but it's just like fresh and clean and salon. Like you can imagine walking into a salon and it smelling like that and it feeling like expensive and like pampery. That's what it smells like. So this I actually really do recommend if you have straight hair, curly hair, or whatever. I think it's a great product. <laughs> okay, now these. I'm gonna talk about these one more time because they're empty and I haven't seen them again. I got them in a FabFitFun sale. I would pay full price for these. These are the Design Me Puff Me Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner and my hair has never responded so well to shampoo and conditioner. This was the first time where I felt like I could point to the shampoo and conditioner and say my hairstyle began with that. I have never felt that way about shampoo and conditioner before and I think this is going to start a new love affair with volumizing shampoo and conditioners for me. You know, I, I mean, look at my hair, it's very fluffy. I never would have thought that that would have been something that I would want or need. No, I don't need it, <laughs> that I would want in my life. <laughs> but these have made me feel that way and I am so looking forward to purchasing them and using them again. I have a backlog of shampoo and conditioner so it'll be a while. The scent on these, it smells half like baby powder and half like, I think what I used to think was jasmine. Like half baby powder, half jasmine or jasmine or some floral, nice subtle floral scent. I didn't really like it at first. It was a little strange with the baby powder, but it grew on me and the product grew on me and I just, ugh, I love this stuff. I really love this stuff. That's, this might be in like a top list, like top 10 something or other list of mine. I have to put the list together, but it's up there. It's really up there. The next product that I have that I wish I had remembered and used more often, I think that it is well past its period after opening time frame, but I'm still gonna try to use it and see if I can make it work for me. But the first time I used it, I really liked this. I used it again a few days ago and I still thought it was very, very good. What is it, you ask? It's the Frank Body Glow Mask. And this is a five minute mask and you're supposed to do it as you're getting ready in the morning. Apply a thick layer to face and neck twice a week. Massage into skin well and leave for five minutes. Rinse with cold water. Okay, I must have made that up that it would be a good <laughs> mask to use as you're getting ready in the morning probably because it's five minutes and it's a glow mask. And its primary ingredients are oils and it has kaolin clay in it, it looks like, but that's kind of way down on the list. It has shea butter, cocoa butter. Yeah, it's a very nourishing mask, but it's not overly hydrating. It didn't make me feel greasy, which is hard because I have dry skin. But I thought this was really, really good. It has a subtle, sweet, baked good kind of scent, which the scent, because it's so old, is kind of changing, but I remember it smelling a little bit more like cake. It's not very strong like cupcakes. It reminded me of cupcakes and I think that the reviews on this to say that as well. This has insanely good reviews on Ulta. That's why I got it in a FabFitFun sale. It was like five dollars and I, and I really recommend it. I feel like my skin is soft and kind of glowy glow mask after I use it. So I do recommend that mask. Just if you get it, don't take as long to use it as I did. Sometimes you just get a little flooded with products and you can't keep up. Okay, so the next product I'm going to talk about is the AG Hair Care Beach Balm Tousled Texture curl product that's what it's called and I love AG hair care they make one of the best products that is specifically for curly hair that I have ever used it's called the recoil and I've talked about it in a couple other videos actually several other videos I've mentioned it but that is like I said it's the best for specifically for curly hair styling creams are great for curly hair but they're not necessarily specifically for curly hair so that's why I make that distinction this is a lot like it I feel like it wasn't as lightweight it was a little bit stickier I feel like if you have less curly hair and you have like more of a wave and you want to get that you know just stepped out of the ocean kind of look this would really really do you good but I liked it I did like this but I would pick their recoil product hands down over this one for hair like mine so yeah there's that one and then the last products I'm going to talk about are the living proof restore shampoo and conditioner I have used the restore hair mask and that is one of the best 
maybe the best hair masks that I've ever used. So I decided to go ahead and try the shampoo and conditioner and it is okay. I love Living Proof. I love a lot of Living Proof stuff. This isn't my favorite shampoo and conditioner of theirs so far. I really like their Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioner. This has the signature Living Proof scent which is again salon fresh. It feels it makes it feel like it's pricey and I really like the way it smells. As far as the way these performed, I didn't notice anything notable. They're okay. That's why they're okay. There's nothing notable about the way my hair felt after using them. There was nothing bad about the way my hair felt after using them. I have used some shampoo conditioners where it's just like that is going in the donate right away. These just kind of didn't impress me either way. I, again, really highly recommend the Restore hair mask though. That is excellent hair mask, especially if you have curly hair. After I would use that hair mask, I would feel my hair and I would just think, wow, did I get a haircut? It kind of had that fresh haircut feel where, you know, it's like noticeably healthier feeling because you just got a cut. I didn't feel that with this. So I don't really recommend this particular line for their shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so that is it. My voice is going a little bit hoarse, so I am going to stop recording right there. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you, if you did, you consider subscribing. Say hello in the comments below. I would love that. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.